Well, let's check in with Lisa Fernandez now, who's in the city. She's gone to the dogs. Have you put Bruno down since we last spoke to you, Lise? I have put Bruno down because he needed to do a wee, so <laughs> uh, that's what he did. Thank you for sharing. Uh, look, listen, I'm here with I'm here with Assistance Dogs Australia. This is Bruno, and Helen is the uh, main trainer for Assistance Dogs Australia. But how's this, Tim? We had a tweet from a guy called Archie Bear who knew what sort of breed Axel was, and this is really interesting. So tell us, Helen, what yeah, sort of breed so of dog Axel's is Axel? Axel's a Nova Scotia duck tooling retriever. How's that, Tim? Cool Someone yeah, on Twitter actually that. got it and yeah. goes, "Is he one of these?" Yeah. So now. <laughs> Yeah. He's, this is very unusual, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of them around. Yeah. We've never had a, a toller on yes. our program before, yeah, but they're okay. still a retriever. Yes. So generally we've worked with golden retrievers and Labrad Labrador retrievers. Yes. Um, but isn't yeah, he he's, absolutely beautiful? Yeah, I couldn't believe this guy got it on Twitter, Tim. Anyway, OK, so Assistance Dogs Australia, they're raising money here in the Murray Street Mall because it's obviously very important because it takes a lot of money to train a dog. About does, how much? Yeah, $30,000 to train each of these okay. puppies. And Assistance Dogs are used primarily for people with disabilities. Tell That's us right. what they do, yep. Helen. So, uh, they do. We we do yeah. place them with children with autism. Yes. Um, but also people in wheelchairs, where they actually help them do things. So okay. they pick things up for them. They'll um, open yes. and close doors, yeah. drawers, cupboards, yeah. uh, hit the light switches, um, yeah. alert bark if they fall out of their wheelchair, hit an emergency button if they're in trouble and okay. they need, need help. And, all those and, kind of things. And one of the great things about organisations like this is Tim, it takes a lot of volunteers to make it work. That's Everyone right. behind me who's here today is a volunteer, and the volunteers are also puppy educators. Now they're always on the lookout for puppy educators, and what does that entail, yes. Helen? They have the dog live with them for 12, 12 months, months in yeah. their home. Um, I support them closely, so I see them each week. I, I do one-on-one -on -one home visits with them, and they also come to puppy class with us. Yeah. Um, and just guiding them through basic dog yeah. training. It's all common sense yeah. stuff. It's not rocket science. No. Um, but the big thing is they're living with those puppies. They go yeah. everywhere with them. They yeah. can go to the shopping centres. You socialise yep. the puppies. Look, and I've got yep. to say, the volunteers that do do this job and are puppy educators, I take my hat off to you because yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I couldn't do no, it. You they're know amazing. Why? I know. I wouldn't be able to give the dog back. Yeah. And it's a calling <laughs> But when that. you see the freedom and independence yeah. that it gives to our clients. I know. I know. I yeah. know. But it's still a terrific job. Look, if you are interested in becoming a puppy educator, uh, and having a puppy in your home and socialising it for 12 months and uh, so it can go on to train, please contact the organisation because it's a really worthwhile calling, I like to think of it as. It is. And I hope you raise lots of money today. So they're on the Hay uh, Murray Street Mall just outside of Maya and they're going to be shaking tins and, and educating people about exactly what uh, the organisation does. So if you can yeah. come and see the dogs and come and see them, or assistance dogs, um, do so. And so this is, again, Bruno. This is Willow. Hello. And that's Axel, and I'll introduce you a little bit later on in the weather to Packet. What Packet. a great name for a dog. Packet, that's right, his no. name. Packet. Lisa, I think we should send you on assignment. I reckon so you could I'll do with a little bit of uh, puppy training. Not as the educator, as... Oh, look, do you know what's going to happen? The floor with the when my dog Atticus, who's... When my dog Atticus, who's 14 <laughs> now, he drops dead when that happens, uh, I'm going to be a You're big mess, that, Bruno. and I'll be on the hunt for a puppy. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, <laughs> okay, bye again. Bye, Tim. See you, Bruno. Bye.